off track from a great new album that we've been featuring here on the upper room with joe kelly and wvof here in fairfield connecticut it's from k star shider mr kevin shider from the funkin it a loose cd that's that's that funk he's based out of atlanta georgia area right now but uh he grew up in funk central in plainfield new jersey he's also the brother of gary diaper man shider and he's here to talk with us here on the upper room with joe kelly an honor to have k star kevin shider how you doing kevin hey it's a pleasure man this is such a, a great record i mean on, on first listen uh of course you got the funk and the rock blended in there but you, you're also tackling some some serious subjects on some of the songs and uh man tell us how long this uh album has been in the making for you well to be honest it took me like a year because like I was going through some things and you know I had set up a record company now VGA Records as you see you know I run the pretty pretty much CEO do that kind of thing and it took about a year because you know I was going through some things but all in all it came together you know and I had to represent because that's what I'm originally about the funk you know now now on the record yourself uh, I mean you're playing uh, all different instruments or just guitar yeah I'm playing guitar keyboards you know sample of drums and all that pretty much most of it yeah all of it did you bring another cat saw for some of the tracks yeah well there's a song on there back in the day my friend leon mincy did that he did the whole track and i just you know put the vocals on the song and it turned out pretty good it, you know it was so cool i let him sing on it right. <laughs> and like that's that funk that there's a uh, um an artist out here in vidalia called um, multi He's doing the lead vocal on that with one of his friends. And so, you know, me and him were good friends. At one point, he had a um, deal with um, Universal, you know, and so we're pretty good friends. I used to do all his demos back in the day. So, you know, I saw fit to, you know, call in some help. Well, we should uh, also remind our listeners that they can uh, go to cdbaby.com backslash cd backslash shider, which is spelled S-H-I-D-E-R, and they can order uh, the brand new CD Funkin' and a Loose on there. And uh, K Shider, K Star is an independent artist, so you gotta represent and, and support a brother who's making uh, great music. I mean, I, I listen to your record, and I think back to when I first got into radio back in, in late teens, early early twenties, and the music I was getting into, and just it it harkens back to that era, the real the real instruments and the real funk, the party. Yeah, I tried to basically stay with the real stuff you know like play it all because i'm not too con you know not too too much of a sample man and not that i'm knocking and i like it you know i do it in some you know like with some of my artists and whatnot here but for the most part you know the funk is live and you got to keep it like that so that's where that basically came from now you're down in georgia right now and you're loving it down there what made you decide to uh migrate down south well, Jersey got to be a bit too much at one point, and I was kind of messed up from the floor up, so uh-huh. God saw it fit for me to, you know, hey, son, move away from there. Georgia's the place you ought to be, so to speak. And I've been here for 13 years, and I'm loving it. So I, when I do go home, you know, I go just to visit because, hey, this is the stomping ground. It's, it's cool. We should also make mention that... Uh Kevin is also a member of Original P, which features uh, some great uh, musicians in there. Tell us who's in the band right now. We got Derek Davis. Um, and he lo- and, and Derek loves your record, by the way, right? You know that. Yeah, it has. To, and matter of fact, we got a record um, that we're working on, you know, with the Original P, P that I did, you know, and I got a couple of tracks. And the other guys as well are, you know, they're working on things. I'm not going to say as to when it will be, but... You know, nevertheless, they're they're doing things. And then, let me see, there's Fly. Fly, uh, I don't know Fly's last name, but Fly, he's cool. He's the keyboard player. He's awesome. And then we got Billy Menz on guitar. And, you know, Ben, he plays drums. And we got, I mean, it's just a bunch of guys and the girls as well, you know. They they put on a great show, great singers. big party and then you got fuzzy and grady from the original people right. from parliament funkadelic you know hall of famers and it's really you know headed up by them and of course the memory of ray davis uh, still i'm sure you're yeah. taking it to the yeah. stage ray and yeah k 
Alvin as well, you know. Yeah. But I grew up with them guys, you know, like, yeah. you know, as a little boy, I listened to them. So, you know, yeah. it's in the blood. Well, we're going to come back and talk more about uh, the upcoming plans for K-Star, Kevin Scheider, and Funkin' It Loose. And uh, we'll also talk about the funk growing up in uh, Plainfield, New Jersey, because uh, we could sit down and talk for a couple of days about all the great things you've experienced, but we're, we're, we're just going to touch on a, a few of them. And uh, why don't we go with uh, the next track, uh, "One Big P- Cure the World, One Big Pill, which really has that live feel to it. And t- tell us about the lyrics on this record and also uh, making it that live feel. Well, I kind of came across that there as like, you know, just like it says, cure the world, because like me, myself, I'm not a drama person. And you look at the world today and all the things that's going on in it, you know, hey, give us one big pill, like George said. Give us one big pill and cure the whole thing, you know. Let's have one big party. Right. So th- this is off Funkin' in the Loose, available at cdbaby.com. We'll come back and spa- speak more. We- Another great track from K-Star Shider, Kevin Shider with us, Funkin' in the Loose here at WVOF in Fairfield, Connecticut. And uh, ha- have you ever played uh, here in Connecticut? Yeah, back in the day, I had this group called The Illusions. Matter of fact, it was my first group, and we used to play in Connecticut all the time, you know, we're all about there, because our manager, his name was um, Walter Jordan, okay. and he had some people out there, so we used to, you know, come through there quite a bit. So if anybody, you know, remembers, I say back in the 70s, like right, you, 77. And, you remember the cities? Huh? Do you remember any of the cities? No, not no, really. Hey, the, like I ask musicians all the time, I get the same answer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you guys, you guess, the time we never know where we're going, no way. Right, right. Yeah. Like I said, it's one big party, you know. Right. Cure the world. But we we talked about um, touched on about the Plainfield, New Jersey upbringing. Of course, uh, your brother, who's the musical director for uh, the P Funk All Stars, Gary Shatter, Diaper Man, who's been on our show before. Another great guy and. Uh, you know, tell us about growing up in the Shider household and uh, how y- y'all got into music. Guitars everywhere, singing every day, records playing, you know, that kind of stuff. A lot of gospel. And, you know, you could, you could hear it in the music because a lot of the stuff, you know, my father, he was, you know, a great influence on us. And I remember days, like, as a child, you know, coming up, when Gary would leave his guitar out, you know, he'd put it up under his bed, and I'd sneak in his room and go in there and try to play it. Uh, how, how much older was he? Gary, he's, oh, uh, wow, Gary, he's a lot older than I am. Uh-oh. <laughs> Let's just put it like that, you know. Yeah, we won't date him. Definitely look up to him. He could, he could turn me over and spank me. <laughs> <laughs> but he's cool. He's cool. He, he taught me a lot of things, you know, him and Eddie and Tiki and, Bernie, you know, the whole funk crew. Yeah, Bernie actually, uh, back at our old studios, came and brought his keyboards and performed in the studio, which was cool. Yeah. So so uh, you mentioned all the guitars and stuff. Uh, how, how about vocally, Gary? Gary's got j- just such a unique style on vocals. Did he have influence on you like that? A very, very unique thing. My thing is, when I produce records, I like to do backgrounds. And I kind of got a bizarre way of recording because I'll do pretty much like he does, you know, like, say, for instance, like Atomic Dog. What happened was, like, the way Gary produced that, the way that song came about was, like, George had started the track, and he said that he had came in the studio and Gary had had all the backgrounds already laid. Everything was in place. And I pretty much record like that all the time. You know, I'll do my backgrounds, I'll do the music, and then I'll do the background tracks and I'll place the song. Not even knowing where the lead vocal's gonna, you know, land up at. But you could pretty much listen to the song and tell, well, this here's a verse, this is a change, this is a verse, this is a change. And I pretty much work like that. Now, uh, Funkin' It Loose, you've got it available, cdbaby.com, backslash cd, backslash shider. And uh, you're, ho- you're hoping to do uh, some uh, solo shows with uh, your own band? Yeah, well, and right now, I'm in the process of looking for some members, you know. I got a couple of people in mind, you know, and basically some of the mugs out of Original P, you know. You might see them on stage as well. Well, what what kind of instruments would be in your own band? I'd pretty much use keyboard, bass, drums, three guitars, you know, background singers. It'd pretty much be, you know, like the punk scene, but not as big, not as big. I think less is best. Right. So, 
you're going to take me off right there to, you know, get the show up. <laughs> and that did, I love the front, you know. How, how about as a guitar player uh, besides your own music? Who who have uh, you know, filed through the years, or, or who do you dig nowadays? Who do I dig nowadays? Ooh, let's see. Gene Thomas, mm -hmm. the guitar player for the original P-Punk. Okay. Here's a, a funny story about that. When Gene started, Gene started out under me, and now I look up to Gene. Oh, wow. Because like we had this group called Frequency, which was which is headed by Raymond Billups, and me and Gene, we played together in that group. You know, Gene had came along. We took him aboard, and Gene was so green. But by the time you know he got with OP and them, and later on throughout the years, he's been playing with us. You know, Gene started taking the lead in a lot of solos, and you know, and and the songs and whatnot. And I was pretty much so content with the way that he played him and another guitar player Jerome that the way they played that I wouldn't even play guitar you know I would just do a lot of singing and doing the you know front thing I had got so you know accustomed to the way they played and he throughout that time he got real good so yeah I'm inspired I'm inspired by the, you know the upcoming players on this record uh, guitars for, for the uh, musicians out there what, what have you been using on the record Guitar-wise? Guitar-wise, I play an Ibanez, and I play a Stratocaster, Ibanez being the stronger, you know, guitar. Um, I just pretty much play, like, you know, give me a little pedal or something like that there. I'm not big on, you know, like, different guitar sounds and all that. I'm not, you know, the, the foot pedal switches and all that, you know, I'm not really a basic gizmo man. I'm kind of like, you know, your straight-up guitar player. K Shotter, K Star is with us right here, funkin' it a loose, and we got another track ready to fly right here on the upper room in WVOF. You've been misled. Tell us about uh, writing this track. You've been misled. Actually, that started out as a song that I was gonna do on the original P, but I kind of liked the track, so I kind of kept it. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> You're smart. We yeah. had a funk drive on it, and I was like, well, what better way to you know represent the funk? than to have a real serious funk track on your um, album. So I kept it, you know. I, OP, I got some good stuff for that too, yeah, you know, right. but you know, I really, that song really kind of like struck a chord with me. Funkin' It Loose as well too, because I put my daughters on that song. Oh, okay. Yeah, my daughters and another artist that I do here, and she'll probably be up and coming, her name is Cookie. It's really um, Doris Harris, Harrison, and she's got a um, CD, you know, but I didn't release it yet. But it's a good one. It's kind of like a rhythm and blues thing for the older crowd, you know. And, and your independent record label. Give, give us the title again on the record label. BGA Records, right. by Daniel Georgia. Right. You know, I mean, it was founded right here, right in this house, this very house. And matter of fact, when I started out, would you believe that I was recording on four tracks? Oh, okay. You know, and... um. I did my first independent record. It was a gospel. A lot of a lot of the artists on my um, label are gospel, but you know, it's not to say that you know I don't do R and B and all the other stuff. But for the most part, you know, it's Vidalia representing. You know, I do a lot of um, artists here. Then I got Scovia Polk. She's a friend of mine, and she does a lot of my background vocals. She helps me arrange a lot. She's very close to me. You know, Leon Mency, there's, you know, musicians around here that, you know, I really admire and I use, you know, to help me do, you know, create my sound and stuff. So down in Vidalia, they got the, the great funk sounds. K-Star Shotter, Kevin Shotter with us. We're going to get into another track and come back and speak one final time with Kevin Shotter. This is from Funkin' It A Loose. Uh, you've been misled, so I'm happy you kept it for your own record. <laughs> yeah, for sure. This is W from the album Funkin' It A Loose, which features a cool picture on the cover, K-Star Shider. Uh, that's the track You've Been Misled. And, you know, the Funketeers, especially the Funketeers from Plainfield uh, and, you know, George Clinton and, and the P-Funk crew always putting their own stamp on their style. How, how do you, uh, you know, create your own style and then amongst each other in, in those group, you know, showing each other hey this is what i'm gonna wear tonight this is how i'm gonna you know do it 
Any any talk among the band members on on what to wear? Because I know Original P got some crazy stuff too. Yeah, and see that album cover, the album cover right there. Uh-huh. That's from an Original P concert. Oh really? Okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. And you, with me, you never know because like that there. I think that's another thing that kind of like drew drew me. You know, drew them to me. Um, because I was like very creative with the clothes and stuff. And but see that there comes from watching the real punks do it. You know. Everything goes, you know. I mean, it's it's just like I said on the record. Do not attempt this funk at home. These are trained professionals. Right. I watched the big boys do it, and I learned it. Right, right. So, and uh, of course, original P. Fuzzy's Fuzzy's uh, got a cool outfit and everything. Yeah, uh, yeah. Grady. Yeah, that's right. The whole thing is, right. you know, it's just phenomenal. How how often do you get to see Gary? I. I talk to Gary a lot. I don't get to see him as much as, uh-huh. you know, I used to because, like, you know, we gig on and off, and he's always gone. Right. So, you know, but every chance he uh, I get, you know, I call him, and we talk for hours and hours and hours, and, you know, I just vibe with him, and he tells me a lot of, you know, good things, good things, bad pointers, and, you know, stuff like that there. But mainly my thing is about, you know, trying to keep the business end of it, you know, for real. Right. Or because if, if you notice, you know, a lot of these musicians that come out, a lot of people who inspire to be a musician, they, they're in it for show business. But see, you got to think about that. Turn it around. It's business show. Mm-hmm. Handle your business. Right, right. You, know, you have to know the business, and it's more business than show. Yeah, we can from- do the show thing all day long, but at the end of the day, you know, where's your buck at? <laughs> right. And from from so many things with the funk world and, you know, specifically P-Funk and all, all the lessons they've gone through and, you know, yeah. what 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 a school to learn right from. Yeah, what a school to learn from, you know. Yeah. I mean, George is the best teacher right. to me there is, you know. Right. I mean, he sat down with me and taught me a lot of things, you know. And it's more or less like it's not what you record on, it's how you record with what you got. He said, and just put it out there, and, you know, be funky about it. When you do it, keep make it funky. So I, I, I definitely learned a lot from him, you know, and, you know, the other fellas as well. So K-Star, Kevin Scheider, CD, available. You can order it right now if you just tuned in to WVOF here and uh, missed our earlier portion of the interview. You'll have a lot of time to listen to it. Once again, we'll be airing it for three days and three nights around the clock at Upper Room with UpperRoomWithJoeKelly.com. And uh, man, when you come up to Plainfield, you know, make the hour and a half trip up to up to uh, Connecticut. Stop by the studio. Love to have you come by. Yeah, we're gonna be in um, Pennsylvania the 29th at where? What is it? At the Sherman Theater. Okay, original P. Yeah, the original P. So you can catch me there, and I'll be selling CDs as well there too. Yeah. yeah but for the most part, come check out the show. You know, getting and. Get into the funk. Yeah. And Original P, I'm sure during the summer will be doing a lot of dates, too. Yeah. Oh, right. man. We're going to get busy this this year. Right. Definitely. So we're going to go out with uh, a track. Uh, I want to want you down on my thing. And tell us about uh, the guest uh, artist on this. My friend Scovia Polk, she helped me out very much with this song because, like, I was kind of, well, it's an old song. It's a song I did, you know, a couple of years ago, but I just revised it and brought it back to life. And I kind of needed, like, a female on the track. And she came in and did what she had to do. And I was like, oh, now that did work, you know. That's what I wanted. Charlene as well. Charlene, she plays keyboards for the original P. And let's not forget her, you know. she She inspired me too as well. So we'll give a listen to it right now, and you can also right now go to cdbaby.com backslash cd backslash shider, S-H-I-D-E-R. You can uh, preview cuts from the record up there. I think the, all of them you can listen to. Uh, K-Star Shider, Mr. Kevin Shider, Funkin' It Loose. Oh, before we get into this track, I want to thank Barbara and Keith Thomas for uh, hooking us up. Real nice people, great friend. She's a great inspiration to me. I mean, she's... She's my underground manager. That's <laughs> I want right, you yeah. to know, you know, I love her with all my heart, right. and there's nothing that, you know, I won't do for her. But for the most part, boy, I'll take go. <laughs> <laughs> word, word, words from Kevin Schotter. We'll get into it right now. This is, I want you down on my thing. Thanks, Kevin, man.